everyone. So it is Friday, which means it is grocery day, and I am going to share my grocery haul with you. So if you watched our, our budgeting system video or how we kick cash envelopes, um, you know that our grocery budget is $400 a month for a family of four. I normally do about $200 every two weeks, and I will share with you our grocery haul. I went to Aldi's, the traditional grocery store, and got a couple of things food-wise from Target. I'll show you my receipts, but let's get started with the haul. So we do most of our grocery shopping at Aldi's, so I'll show you what we get from there. Um, hard salami for lunches and sandwiches, and some of these cheese and cracker breadsticks. A half gallon of 1% milk, some Sunday Crunch Bars for a treat for the weekend. Some goldfish crackers, corn chips, and pretzel thins. Uh, mini muffins for school lunches. And these almond and walnut mix, which I really like to take on the go. Guys, if you like Girl Scout cookies, but you don't like $4 a box. These are so similar. They are a knockoff of Tagalongs and Thin Mints. And they're $1.39 at all these. And we, they're our favorite cookies. I got a block of sharp cheddar and a block of white sharp cheddar. A pre-sliced ham. Some pepperoni. Some jumbo biscuits. And lots of bread products. We were completely out of any bread or buns. So we got whole grain white bread. Some hamburger buns some English muffins, and some sweet Hawaiian rolls. Taco seasoning, strawberries and blackberries. Four of the containers of yogurt. These are for, my one son likes these for breakfast. Some applesauce squeezes, instant oatmeal packets. This is with the flax, and I love this for breakfast. Tortilla chips. Some go-go squeeze knockoffs. Um, those are good for school snacks. And then I got this yogurt, which is what I eat for breakfast a lot of the times, and the kids like it too. The vanilla whole milk yogurt. Some cream cheese and some sour cream. And avocado hiding back there. Uh, some dark chocolate sea salt caramels. I got two bags of the shredded hash browns and a bag of the country style fries and a rising crust pizza. We have a couple of nights over the next week that are going to be quick dinners. Then I got potatoes and bananas, some mini cucumbers, green peppers, and sweet butter lettuce. Hot sauce, ranch dressing, and Italian dressing. Beef broth and black olives and some pickles. We're having hamburgers one night. And this queso is going to go with the corn chips for our camp out that we're having. So that is all from Aldi's. And now on to the regular grocery store. Our local grocery store does a advantage card. Um, the local grocery store is Giant Eagle and they do a lot of good like meat and produce deals with the card which is free. Um, so ground beef was $2.99 and then it had, some of them had this like dollar off coupon. So that made this uh, $2.47 for a pound which is pretty decent for around here and I got two of those. I only have one out, I've already stuck one in the freezer. And then the roasts were, $2.99 a pound for the sirloin tip roast. So this roast was $6.55, which is, I think, a really good deal for a roast. Most of the time, this can stretch us for two meals, and I did get two of those as well, but one of them is in the freezer. Um, the apples were $0.99 cents a pound, so I got two pounds of apples. My son loves these toaster strudels for breakfast, so I let him get them when he saw them. If that was his treat for the day, that is fine. Um, some baby carrots to go with our roast. Those were 99 cents and grape tomatoes were 99 cents as well. So now I will show you my total for all these and the grocery store. So I also went to Target today and um, a lot of this does not come out of the grocery budget, which I will explain. Um, what does come out of the grocery budget are the s'more granola bars that I bought, the coffee, which I think I'm going to talk about in my favorites video because I really, really am liking these K-Cups. 
I got these Lara Bar Minis. I like the Lara Bars, and these are a good grab-and-go snack. And then I got some of the um, Simply Pure Coffee Creamer. So on to the household items. Um, there was a coupon on the Target Cartwheel for $15 off a purchase of $50 or more on household items. In addition to that, there was a lot of other coupons. So I stocked up and I'll kind of explain how that works into the grocery budget in a minute. So I got the Tide Ultra Stain Release. Um, it's the big 92 ounce. The eight huge, which is like, I guess, 20 rolls of small paper towels of the Bounty. Uh, 24 rolls of the Scott Extra Soft sandwich baggies. This method, these are my favorite cleaner. I love the all-purpose cleaner. This particular one is the Bamboo, and I have not used it before. I normally use the Crisp Apple or the Pink Grapefruit, so I'm excited to try that out. Um, my favorite wood polisher that I showed in a video earlier this week, the Clean With Me, I got some of that. Uh, the kids toothpaste which was not included in the household deal and um, the automatic dishwashing gel. My total for Target was $48 I think and 51 cents. Okay so my total at Aldi's was $91.16. My total at the grocery store $23.92. My grocery items so food and the paper towels and laundry soap at Target was $23 of the 48. So my total is $138.08. So that leaves me right around $60 left for the rest of the two weeks. Okay guys, so that is our grocery haul for today. Um, you might be wondering what's included in our $400 a month grocery budget. And I include all of our groceries for the family of four, and then a lot of our kitchen consumables and paper products. So um, paper towels, dish detergent, our baggies, foil, saran wrap, everything like that is included in my grocery budget. What I don't include is toothpaste and shampoo and um, makeup, cleaning products, because it didn't make sense to me to include that in the budget because I'm not replacing those on a bi-weekly or monthly um, kind of rotation. I'm not always replacing the same things, so it made sense to me to just have that out of our general spending account which if you have a question about just like how we do it, um, links in the description box for our general budget and how we um, and why we don't use the cash envelope system any longer. So um, thanks so much for watching guys. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.